Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I will be sharing how we make fudge in our household, both chocolate and peanut butter. So let's get into this. To make the chocolate fudge, you will need sugar, chocolate, butter, evaporated milk, vanilla extract, and marshmallow fluff. On this day, I was making a quadruple batch getting ready for the holidays, so that's why there is so much of each ingredient here. But I will make sure to put the single batch recipe down below in the description box for your convenience. Another helpful tool in making this chocolate fudge is a candy thermometer. But if you don't have one, you should still be able to successfully make this yummy treat using the following steps. So the recipe that my family likes to follow is the Kraft Fantasy Fudge recipe. However, that recipe calls for chopped up baker's chocolate, and we've found that the same amount of semi-sweet chocolate chips works just fine and can be less expensive too. While this mixture is boiling, it is worth noting that it might come up and like spit at you. So it might be worth using an oven mitt or some other type of protection of your hands while you are stirring so that it doesn't spit up at you and you get burned. So just kind of keep that in mind. That is something I've learned the hard way. So for some reason, even though I had the recipe right next to me, I forgot that the temperature I was looking for was 234 degrees, and instead I was thinking the temperature had to rise to a much higher temperature. So I ended up cooking this mixture a little bit longer than I needed to, but it still turned out okay. In my opinion, it was slightly drier, but everyone else who had it thought it was just totally fine. So. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and blame this one on pregnancy brain. To make the peanut butter fudge, you simply need equal parts peanut butter and store-bought vanilla frosting. This is probably one of the easiest desserts I've ever made and is essentially foolproof.
On this day, I decided to try a swirl technique using both the chocolate and peanut butter fudge. The final product didn't quite look like how I wanted it to because I wanted to make sure every piece had the peanut butter fudge in it, but it still tasted delicious. I think that if I tried to time the completion of both fudges at the same time, they would have swirled more nicely together. I let all of the fudge sit out and cool and then it was time to cut it into little cubes. I'd like to thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here to stick around and catch out all of my motherhood content. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.